That's Psychopath Delta. We weren't able to control him. Count, does what they're saying make any sense? It is possible. You could be called Epsilon. It suits her, right, Alpha? No. No? Then maybe Sigma? Uh, aren't you curious about what I have to say? No, Beta. When you fought so bravely for Omega to return, I took a look at the vessel. I can tell there will only be a small amount of the potion. Is there enough for three? I'm not sure of that. For two? Yes. What are you going to do? I need some time to think about it. We have to lock them up. This is the best solution. The conspirators are busy. Now I've got some time to escape. I talked to the native. Did you find out anything useful? I'm not sure. He recited poetry. Sarah Briggs taught him the language this way. I remember he liked Blake. Mm, she must have died a long time ago. Milton probably does not realize she is dead. He might still be waiting for her. Milton? That is what she called him. He'd have to be insane to think that woman might come back. He may well be. Can the guardian of the Tree of Life be saved? Why did this happen? I fear the worst. We've got to free ourselves. It is not enough. We have to get weapons in order to defeat them. Why don't we just fly away? I have no choice. But are you sure you do not want to stay here? I don't know anymore. This brotherhood, there's no deep human bond between you. I agree. Pure profit has come to the fore. Even if these killings were the work of a dissenter and a psychopath who got out of hand, I still feel enormous tension between you. That will end in a catastrophe. Count, do you think our lives are in danger? There is no doubt about it. They are going to kill us. Why? It is simple. There is too little potion. But this is savagery. You believe you possess a great gift? How can you sink so low as to murder the ones from whom there won't be enough of it? Civilized people don't do such things. Sylvie, this is civilization. The new civilization of people who are always young, healthy, immortal. Such people will recognize and protect only one commodity. They are access to the elixir of youth. You can't be governed by such selfishness. No love, no friendship, no sacrifice, or brotherhood at that. Those virtues appeared when people confronted death. They felt that we all shared a tragic fate and had to give some feeling to one another in order to deal with it. They are an inherent part of the soul. Tell me, is it possible to love forever? Feel like being with only one person for eternity? What for? This is beyond human abilities. Only God would manage something like this. Would anyone want children in the world of the immortal? Knowing that they have an infinite amount of time ahead, would people not look for constant change? Anyway, they would focus on making sure they have everything they need to survive endlessly, and that would ruin any solidarity among them. I don't believe it. It's a gruesome vision. The effect of too much suffering you had to endure. But this vision came to pass. When the civilization of Atlantis collapsed, the island was invaded by Native Americans. The tree bore less and less fruit each year, so the tribe adjusted to the fruiting cycle. Because of limited resources, they decided to take drastic measures. They resolved not to have children. They ritually excluded those for whom there was not enough life-giving potion. These are euphemisms. I suppose both these measures were, in fact, much more brutal. It's so sad if that's the realization of the ultimate human dream. A dream that comes true has a bitter taste. If only you hadn't believed in the power of the potion. There is nothing to believe in. Each of us knows what it is like if you have lived one or two hundred years. You really think Alpha was an officer on Mary Celeste? We were all there. It was I who convinced Briggs to venture this. He also believed in it? In immortality? He probably did. They were deeply devout people. What is more, Sarah felt a calling for missionary work. You cannot imagine how the words of the psalm she sang beautifully wafted in the air. I suppose she failed. They were doomed to failure. 
She drowned with her daughter when they were trying to get off the island. That's so depressing. <sighs> what was that? Probably a wounded animal. And that woman, was she there as well? Beta? Of course. You remembered that right from the beginning? Sylvie, I'm not an actor. Even now, not everything is sorted out in my mind. I guess that's it. Fine. He told me that if I were a Brotherhood member, I would know what he meant. Hmm, should I really treat him seriously? Will you help us? May he listen to you. Milton. Milton, can you listen to me? Yes. Let us go. We haven't deserved this fate. Is there anyone who has? They want to kill us. Count, is she dead? She has been dead for a long time. You have been hiding this from me. You have been hiding this from yourself. This is called insanity. All kinds of insanity end someday. It has taken over a hundred years. It is heartening that it is over. Milton, what has awakened you? Your companion, Count. Will you free us? Indeed, I have been aware of everything. As if I was dreaming, feeling I would awaken any moment. All this lighting and putting out the torches every day. Please save us. Save you? Yes, we need to escape. There is no escape from here. But you can also leave this place. The tree has taken root in all of us, even in you. Only Sarah was free from me. What do you want for freeing us? And you, can you free me? He must still be insane. Take our airship. He can take it even now, but what for? I only have those gold coins with the tree emblem. Some people collect treasure, others waste them. When the last coin comes back here, the tree will die. Milton, would you like them? Will you let us go? Everyone uh, shall be free. Four. All of them are here. The cycle is coming to an end. What a sweet word. The end. Milton. Free us! Yes. Soon the prophecy will come true. Let us go from here, from the prison. Please. It is open. We're free. Oh, thank God. Let's go home. Where is home? You're not leaving this place? I did not realize before that this journey meant coming home. Fine. I'm not going to leave you at their mercy. I am glad. Try to get the gun from the airship. I will go near the platform with the vessel. I'll take that risk. I guess that's it. Fine. Take it. I don't know how to use it. It is time to deal with them. <laughs> 